Yeah, someone literally just spawned in there. <laughs> that was pretty funny. There's no way he snuck up on me. So the guy was for sure a hatchet boy. Oh, he needs God. some milk! The boy. Can't believe he was going to shoot. Unbelievable. But we're in the spot. Ran past a little bit of, uh... A little bit of heat over by West Pond. I think there was some marked room tension. So, we'll just, uh... Just wanted to slide past them, try and get up here as quick as possible. Yeah, it's still piping off. Too much going on up here. Were there not three people there? I know that was some terrible shooting. But I could have sworn I heard one guy up in the tower and then two guys running up, right? made it better like it was already really good so new weight system I think it's okay yesterday it was really bad and I've heard that they've tweaked it a little bit so yeah I think that they did actually because I was overweight yesterday and like I don't have a backpack I just have normal kit like nothing crazy and this was yellow yesterday so I guess they tweaked it a little bit So that's good. We were playing yesterday in the tank battery. I was holding down uh, my brother, and he was like, the it was like crouch walking, but he was like normal walking, like silent crouch walking. It's crazy. So I guess they 
fix that. I'm watching his stream right now, actually. <laughs> He's doing a hatchet run, it looks like. It's whiskey underscore gym, if anyone's interested. I'm typically on it, me and a couple other friends. We'll do up to five man squads. It's a little hectic, but it's pretty entertaining. So obviously you can tell, great vantage point for eastern side of the map. You can hit any of these shots out in the eastern field, but really your only like downside is queen rooftop. And like maybe someone could make some crazy shot from like middle south of the map. But it's pretty rare. I've only died twice here, so I've done it for just getting KD up, kind of just having fun getting kills with this gun in particular. And then they just updated it with this new patch, so it's got a little bit more customizability. Um, but this is the new one. I think it looks pretty sick. Like the old one looked cool, but it was the only thing you could do to it, so at least there's, you know. They added a little bit of creativity to it. The old gun's still really good, though. Like, I was doing this, like, this spot in particular um, for the past, like, week. But, like, with that gun. <clears throat> but then they just buffed it to lower the recoil by, like, 8 or 10 more points each, vertical and horizontal, so... Wasn't expecting that, so that was a nice little little upgrade for me. If you're shooting this gun though, put in seven and one rounds. I feel like a way to increase your your like holding your breath should actually be to hold your breath. Because I'm pretty sure the only way you can increase your stamina is by sprinting. So like that makes sense, but like so does holding your breath. I'm pretty sure people like surfers do you know, like breath training. Divers. Like, how else do you do that? You just hold your breath, right? So, I don't know. I feel like that should be implemented. I'm going to try and hit this shot. If he's still there when my stamina is back. That path happens a lot up here. A lot of scavs take this path because they're going right over there to the tank um, or right past the tank to the CP fence. And you'd be surprised how many scavs come by so close to freedom just to get gunned down in the back holding boss squad lead. 